Do you hate Jada Pinkett Smith? I do. And so do these A-listers. Welcome to Beyond the Screen. I'm Nate, and these are the top 10 celebrities who still hate Jada Pinkett Smith. Number 10, 50 Cent. Jada and her entanglement with August Alzina was news that shocked the entire world when it was revealed on Red Table Talk. For 50 Cent, this was the most annoying thing that he's ever had to deal with in his entire life. Following the revelation, social media users were flocking to Instagram sharing their opinions and messages with their friends, including 50 Cent. He contacted Will Smith, his buddy, and ended up cursing him out. 50 asked him why Jada said that on a show for the world to see, adding that she said only she can give permission for some someone to blow her back out. I'm not really sure what that means. Like with an air pump? Will responded with more swearing and in October of 2021, 50 decided to comment on the marriage again, having the exact same issues that a ton of people are having with this woman. Jada is picking and choosing her moments to make things happen. She's revealing information about her book because it's stirring the pot. If you watch the interview where she revealed all this information, you can actually see her just kind of like zoning out and faking her way through the entire interaction. All the while, she's just maniacally laughing in her head. Just <laughs> 50 posted on his Instagram asking Jada why she had to share her life story with the entire world when it just calls her character into question every single time. Number nine, Will Smith. If there's anyone on this planet that has the right to not like Jada Pinkett Smith, it's her estranged husband, Will Smith. Seeing as they've secretly been separated for seven years, he's, he surely holds some tinge of frustration towards Jada. This man has endured public humiliation several times, both caused by him and by Jada. And in this past week alone, Jada has revealed so much information about her marriage to Will and what's really been going on behind the scenes. Not only were they separated, but it's been revealed that she was in in love with the late rapper Tupac Shakur. Yeah, Will has been blindsided by all this information and is taking it as well as he can. Jada's book isn't even out yet and this man is already stressed out. So, of course he's starting to truly hate Jada. Number eight, Stacey Dash. Stacey started her career just like Will Smith in a small project in the 1990s. For Will, it was Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and for Stacey, it was Clueless. But as Will got into movies, Stacey made a move into the world of politics. When Will and Jada announced that they were boycotting the Oscars in 2016, Dash was front and center in the crowd of confused people. Stacey went on air to share her views, which made sense. The issue that Jada and Will had with that year's event, for those of you who don't remember, was that, there's that there were no people of color nominated for an Oscar in a majority of the categories. So Will and Jada, along with a lot of other people, announced they'd be boycotting the event. Stacy called Jada's choice questionable because the real issue for her was not that there was no nominees, but that Hollywood hadn't given a lot of people of color the opportunity to even perform in leading roles that year. As the years went by, more and more opportunities have arisen, and as we all know, Will Smith eventually won an Oscar. Real Cinderella story. Get this guy some glass slippers. To summarize, Jada Smith bad, and she is not allowed in the Oscars anymore. Number seven, Gabrielle Union. Gabrielle and Jada collided several times on the red carpet over the years as their careers would often intertwine with each other. Now, you might know Gabrielle from Bring It On or Meet Dave, and you may want to forget Jada Smith from Scream 2 and The Nutty Professor. However, when they were together, there was just this awkward vibe. Apparently, Jada did not speak to Gabrielle for 17 years of their interactions, and both of them couldn't remember what caused it. Gabrielle claimed that there was just always tension between the two every time that they would see each other. A few years ago, Jada reached out to her to clear things up. The conversation ended with them agreeing that they were both just divas at the time with diva mentalities, and Jada invited Union on to Red Table Talk, now cancelled, and said that she needed to apologize for her behavior, claiming that she was in a terrible place and is just in a much better one right now. Sure. Union later appeared on Today and shared that they were both insecure and that was really what caused the rift, but it's mighty convenient that she was ready to talk once she had a platform to record and release that conversation onto. Make up with a celebrity and make money online. <laughs> Double whammy. Number six, Vivica A. Fox. Vivica A. Fox is best known for her roles in movies like Independence Day and Schmill Bill. She made her opinions on Jada public when Will did his thing at the Oscar ceremony in 2022. Vivica claimed that Will deserved a second chance while bashing Jada's comments on the situation. 
While she was on The Wendy Williams Show, Fox tearfully reacted to Jada's Red Table Talk remarks about moving forward after the incident. Vivica was Will's co-star in Independence Day, and she also worked with Jada on the film Set It Off in the same year. So she was familiar with these two and had a little bit of a relationship with them. Jada's comments following the show were that she had no part in what happened at the Oscars and just felt horrible thinking the whole thing was a skit. Whether she did or not, she didn't make a single attempt to stop Will Smith from getting on the Oscar stage, and that's kind of her big problem with the night. Number five, Chris Rock. Now, ahead of the release of her new book, Jada has revealed a ton of information, which were originally just rumors. Now, while we have covered the fact that she separated from Will Smith for a while, one fun piece of information that got revealed was that, well, she had a little bit of an entanglement with Chris Rock, if you know what I mean. The entanglement, it's lovemaking. It's been revealed that before Chris Rock was slapped across the face by Will Smith, Chris had actually asked Jada Pinkett Smith out on a date. Now, when you hear that, you're probably like, oh, he asked her out before they met. No, it was actually in 2016 at the height of the first round of separation rumors, which I guess it turned out were real. Look at that. At the time, Chris either had some inside info or he just believes everything he reads online. According to Jada herself, Chris actually reached out to shoot his shot. He called her and said that he'd love to take her out on a date, to which she replied, why? And told Jada that he was under the impression that herself and Will were getting a divorce for real. But when she revealed that that wasn't the case, Chris was so embarrassed and started to apologize over and over again. Though they moved past it, there's just a little part of Chris that still remains calling out, Jada, Jada, ah. Number four, Leah Ramini. For those who don't know, Jada lives in a world of science. Yeah, I can't talk about what that means, but if you've ever Googled L. Ron Hubbard and science, you'll know what I'm talking about. Leah Ramini, who you might know from King of Queens or Old School, is more than just an actor. She is also very outspoken against Jada's beliefs. The rumors that Will and Jada were big into science, something Leah mentions in her book, had been running around for years. Her book, Troublemaker, Surviving Hollywood and Weird Science, brought to light some pretty interesting revelations, and she brought up the situation of science again when speaking to the Daily Beast in 2017. She claimed to know for certain that Jada was involved for a very long time and that she had never seen Will attending any events, but she did spot Jada attending one at the Celebrity Center in Hollywood. Jada clapped back on Twitter, naming all of the houses of worship that she had visited without being a member. A year later, Leah appeared on the now-canceled Red Table Talk. I know that you know it's canceled. I just like to remind everyone. After the interview, Jada gushed about how they connected in the interview, claiming that they were two broken little babies inside both of them who were abandoned by their parents. Yeah, Leah just said, man, that lady's crazy. Number three, herself. Now, if it isn't clear already from the years of sharing private information for profit, no matter who it hurts, Jada hates herself. For sure. Only someone who truly despises the way that they are would share what Jada has shared. Her love life, her personal life, and now everything down to what she eats for breakfast. Now, if all you do is profit from your own pain, that's a sad existence. Plus, it's no surprise that Jada started sharing this juicy gossip only a few days before her new book is supposed to come out. Many speculate that her entire life is just one big PR stunt at this point. Over the years, she's been in the media for a ton of things, whether it's boycotting the Oscars, getting fired from her own talk show, or or honestly, just the general nonsense that comes from this woman. Number two, August Alzina. The world was shocked when R&B singer August Alzina came forward to confirm one of the longest rumors around Jada and Will's marriage, admitting that he had an affair with Jada Pinkett Smith in 2015. During an interview, he claimed that he actually sat down with Will Smith and got his blessing to do his thing thanks to the nature of their relationship shifting. He insisted that the couple had nothing to be ashamed of and that he loved the Smith family. While Will Smith Smith has denied ever giving him a blessing. In fact, he didn't even know that that was a thing until he heard about it online. Jada admitted to the entanglement on Red Table Talk, where she explained to her husband that it was a moment she regretted, but the entire time was referring to the infidelity as an entanglement, like it was two Christmas lights getting stuck together in a box. While many were, of course, confused as to why she would admit this on the internet, people to see, there were also people who were wondering if she might have taken advantage of August, because at the time he was only 22 and had been struggling with his health, suffering from an autoimmune condition that left him hospitalized multiple times. Jada even admitted to being his mentor at the time, which, I don't know, this sounds like a 
pretty weird mentor-mentee relationship. And at number one, Janet Hubert. Now, Will Smith got his big break in the acting world thanks to his success on the sitcom Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The show followed him as the titular prince living with his family in Bel-Air, surrounded by cousins, uncles, and Aunt Viv. And in season one, Aunt Viv was played by Janet Hubert Witten, but as a lot of people know, she was recasted after an onset feud with Will got a little bit too heated. According to Will, Janet thought that he was an antagonist in her life. She had been in the business for years when suddenly Will Smith was this young dude who popped into her life and he got her leading role on a show. A little bit poof. <laughs> and, she, and he got a leading role on a show. She held a tinge of jealousy towards Will and he just walked into town, got the gig, and that was it. Well, that's what happens when you're good at your job, right? She was trying to convince the producers to give her character more screen time and allow her to breathe, but they said no because it wasn't her show, it was Will's show. So she fought back hard and it was ultimately decided that she was going to sit out for the rest of the series and be replaced by Daphne Maxwell Reed, who we all know as the main Aunt Viv. Janet has attempted to get into contact with Will and Jada over the years, but it's only ever been a negative experience for everyone involved, which means that she must be harboring a lifelong hatred for the Smiths. And those are the artists that hate Jada Pinkett Smith. How much do you hate Jada? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, follow the channel for more celebrity content every day. Thank you for stopping beyond the screen, and I will see you next time. Whee! There's a hair in my eye. All right. Do you hate Jada Pinkett?